Hello everyone, welcome and welcome back to another video tutorial. So I'll be showing you how to convert your Corel Draw file directly to an editable Adobe Illustrator file using Corel Draw. It's very simple and um, very very easy to do. So as I show you that, I'll be showing you all what's involved and all what you need to have in mind to be able to achieve this successfully. So um, there might be many reasons why um, you would want to convert your Corel Draw file directly to an editable. Adobe Illustrator file. It could be because um you're collaborating with a fellow designer, or it could be that a, a client request for the AI file. So you need to convert your Corel Draw file to an Adobe Illustrator file. So you follow the steps. So um it is sometimes known that um Adobe Illustrator files are not compatible with that of Corel Draw. So um there are some files type that you export as um Corel Draw file, and when you open it on Adobe Illustrator. You can't um edit them because they are not compatible all right so um there are three different files that um are compatible with um coral data and they are very common and known so there's um adobe illustrator there's um pdf that is portable document format and there's encapsulated post scripts so um that is also known as eps all right so um so this is the image or this is the design we are making use of so and other several ones I will be showing you all why we chose this so um let's use this as an example so to do that you will go to file then you head on to this area you have export so the shortcut key is control or command plus E that is if you are using a Mac alright so control E alright so um you come to this area you have Adobe Illustrator we have save as type so you select adobe illustrator all right so you select the file location then you click open then you export all right so um the compatibility so you make sure you select css this is the least accepted um version so and um you select um current page all right so um you select just page one so if you're doing multiple pages you have to select everything so um you click on OK. Alright, so um you select the file that we exported, then um, you open it using Adobe Illustrator. So you right click, then um you open with Adobe Illustrator. Currently I'm using Adobe Illustrator 2020. Alright, so depending on the one you're using. So um this is what I mean by not compatible. So when we exported as an Adobe Illustrator file, this is what we got. And um it is not the same with what we have here in Corel Draw. So um, the compatibility is not correct. So um, there's an alternative for this, right? So let's go. Let's export this um as a PDF. All right. Control or Command plus E. All right. So um, select the file location. Select um file type. So now PDF Adobe Portable Document Format. All right. So um, let's say this as um two all right so um you click on export so um the current page let's export just this one right so um every other thing is default so once you're done you click on ok all right so um we head back to the our uh, file location all right so um this is it so right click and um open with Adobe Illustrator 2020 so this is it this is what we have here so if you zoom you see that um, it's the um, the alignment and every other thing is on check and um, you can also edit the text as well that's one amazing thing about it so um, if you click down you see the layers that are involved here on the right hand side of the screen so um, that is the advantage of saving it as um a PDF rather than an Adobe Illustrator file when it comes to a design that has text and um, other elements too as well but most especially text but um, when it involves um, illustrations and um, logos and um, symbols um, it's advisable to or it's better to save as an Adobe Illustrator file because it gives you more edge um, when editing it because um, there are no text involved so um, let's do that as an example but first of all let's edit the text here so um, select this or we can just double click so um, we can highlight this and put whatever we want 
all right so um depending on what you want you can um achieve this so your client or, or your the person you're partnering with or collaborating with can have easy access to this so um if you're very good with illustrator then um you know your way around this so um let's try another option here all right see this let's export this as an adobe illustrator file then the process i showed you control or command plus e all right so you select the file location you select the file location already turn the file type to ai adobe illustrator then um let's do this um two all right then export so you make sure um this is set to adobe illustrator cs6 so it depends on the page you're exporting to while exporting just page two you highlight this then you put just page two so if you're exporting the three pages you signify that there so um one other thing to know that um when you're exporting as a text um it will appear incompatible but you can be able to edit the text but once as a curve you it will appear compatible but you can't edit it you can't edit the text just have access to only the vector files i hope that's clear so um let's click on ok so um this usually takes a while depending on um the capacity of your pc all right so now we'll check the file location to cdr to ai2 so double click and um this is what we have here all right so um you can have access to this so you right click so we click on this then right click to um on group so you double click to have access to any of this then right click to also um on group so to have access to each individual element here so this is one of the benefits of saving as an adobe illustrator file so it works well on icons and probably illustrations too as well so you need to have this at the back of your mind so if you're exporting as a text then um, it's advisable you if you're exporting um designs that has text and you want it to be compatible it's advisable you export as a pdf because um you have the option to edit the text and it's very compatible and it doesn't appear scattered like it was when we exported as an adobe illustrator file so you can change the color and um you also have access to um the layers here as well so you can play around until you get what you want All right so um to show you um, what i mean by incompatible um gradient and transparency are not compatible when you export them as an um from CorelDRAW to Illustrator. So this is what I mean. I already exported one, so I'll show you in the file location. All right, so um, this is the one I exported here, CDR to AI1. So um, this is the one that has the gradient. So if you take a closer look, um, the gradient here and then the compatibility here is not okay. So I exported this as an AI file. So this is what we have here on CorelDRAW, and this is what we have here on Adobe Illustrator. So um, depending on what you're doing, you need to have this at the back of your mind. So it's very, very necessary. So um, let's try the last file option. Let's um, export this as an encapsulated post script. That is EPS. So Control or Command plus E. All right. So you select the file type here. So EPS, encapsulated post script. All right. So you, um, you use this. The name is OK. Select the file location. Then you click on Export. All right, so um, make sure to check this export this page only. All right. All right, so um, when exporting as a text, that means you have access to edit the text, but um, also have it in mind that um, if you save it as a curve, you can't edit it. And also, when um, if you convert your text here on CorelDRAW, the actual design on CorelDRAW, if you convert it to a curve. Just have it in mind that even though you export it as a PDF, you can't edit it. So you need to have that at the back of your mind. So all of these texts here are not converted to curves. That is why I was able to edit it in, when I exported it as a PDF. So you need to have this at the back of your mind. All right. So um, all of these are default here. So once you're done, you click on OK and make sure to read this postscript tree provides the best support for you. color. Since this is the newest version, you must ensure that the software printer that this APS you be sent to support postscript so you click on ok so this usually takes a little while 
So opening the file location here, we have three EPS files. Why? Because um, there are three pages on the Corel Draw file here. Three pages. Right, so that is why we have um, three EPS files here. So um, let's open the first one. Right click, then you open with Adobe Illustrator. So this is what we have here. This is what we have here. This isn't compatible at all. And but though you can still um, make some adjustment like adjusting or changing the text and all of that. All right. So um, that is one edge it has. So um, let's try the other file. So let's open this using Adobe Illustrator. So if you notice um this um these icons here still maintain their own unique properties without any alteration. So you have access to a this this um vector file. So these are the layers here in the drop down menu here. So you can ungroup them and play around with them to achieve what you want. So it's the same thing as editing on Corridor. If you notice, there's no changes. The same way as it is on Corridor, in Corridor rather. So um, that is one advantage of this. So um, let's open the third one, the one that has the gradient open with Adobe Illustrator. All right, if you notice, um, it did a good job in maintaining the gradient, but um, the text, there are some changes here. There are ch some changes here so um basically this is it and this is the one on um this is the one in coral draw so guys um basically that is it on how to convert your coral draw file to adobe illustrator file um in coral draw it's um very simple and very very easy to do i believe um with um the explanation i've given you could you should know which one um would best suit you and um when exporting or when you are in need of this or when you want to do this so guys um that is it on this video if you find this video helpful um do all to hit on that subscribe button turn on the post notification bell to get notified whenever i upload new videos and don't forget to like share and drop a comment and let me know think about this video and also if you have a video you'd like me to create or if you have any um topic you'd like me to create on or any question do all to do that in the to drop that in the comment section all right guys so thank you for watching and i will see you on the next video tutorial